Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today we're going to be taking a look at Cyanogen Mod for your LG G2. Let's get started. <laughs> So if you're not familiar with Cyanogen Mod, basically it offers you stock Android and includes some other cool features. So this is the latest version of Cyanogen Mod, CM10.2, which means you get the latest version of Android, Android 4.3.1. So basically this is Google's stock Android with some included features. Right now, the Cyanogen mod supports AT&T, the International, and Verizon's G2s. I will have the links down below for this and the gaps. So, if we get into the settings, let's take a look at some of the features that this ROM offers you. The first one is home screen. So, it will come pre-installed with the home screen. I install Nova Launcher, but you'll have another home screen that you could customize through that section. Next we get lock screen, and if we go into lock screen, we could do different things like add shortcuts, change our clock widget, and choose how many pages we want on, in our lock screen. Another big thing about Sanager Mod are the themes, and you could install those from the Play Store and activate them from there. And next we have interface. Here we could go to status bar, and we get some options like changing the battery and brightness control, and a bunch of cool stuff that I've talked about before. Also, we do get quick settings panel, which basically allows you to customize the quick settings and you get a lot of different options there. Next, we do get the option for expand desktop and I don't think you'll be using that that much. And next, another big thing is customizing the navigation bar. So we could go here and add different things like menu. As you can see, I just added it and just add a bunch of shortcuts that will help you in the long run. Next, I quickly wanted to show you how fast apps open on the stock version of Android. As you can see, they fly open and they're very quick to access. A lot quicker than LG's version of Android, which was buggy and just filled with useless features. That's a big plus of getting stock Android on your LG G2. And it basically makes it a Nexus device. So one thing that kind of sucks is there's no other way to power on the device except using the power button. So that's kind of sad. You lose that double tap feature to lock it. You can still use it to unlock it, but you can't use it to lock the device. The camera works perfectly fine. It does come with the stock camera from Google and the pictures are still clear and we still do have optical image stabilization. As you can see, messaging and phone still also work perfectly fine and you do get the stock apps, as I said before. So guys, this is still a nightly, and it is updated every night, so you could go check there and update your phone about every day. Um, for a nightly, this is very, very stable. This is their third release, and I have noticed that there are no bugs. Guys, go try this ROM out. I hope you enjoyed the video.